Hey, today's tutorial is how I did the Christmas planner. I started out with the printables. You can print those out onto cardstock and they each trim down to about three and a quarter inches wide. Next I'm going to show you how I trim down the envelopes. I'm going to place my envelope in my paper cutter like this. Make a little pencil mark at three and a half from the bottom left edge and then flip mark it at three and a half on the left edge. And then you just take those two marks and line them up in the gutter of your cutter and cut. You see you end up with two right-sided pockets, which is why you have to do the opposite sides when you cut so that you'll end up with two pockets that'll go on this side as well. Okay, I went ahead and stamped and inked the pockets and I'm going to show you how to attach them. You're going to line them up with the inner edge. So this is a two-page spread here and I'm going to adhere them just like that to the pockets. Now you can embellish those more if you like. I just wanted to show you how I use the bind it all. You want to set this setting here so that it's set to the C for cover. And there's a little stopper. That stopper will stop your page so that when you punch it, your holes will be in from the edge. And then if you turn it and do the other side, If you punch the other side, then there went my light. Then both sides will be within. Okay, for the cover, you have to score the acetate at four and a quarter. So I'll just run it down like that. And then I found a trick. If you just leave it in the score pal and press it up against the corner, it helps you to make that nice crisp fold so that the transparency is kind of slippery and it'll slip around on you. So for the cover you're going to sandwich one of the pieces in that sheet of transparency and you punch it just like you did the other pages. Probably the best way to do the envelopes for the back is to clip them in place and then slide them into the bind it all pull it over to where that cover is, punch it, and then and then it. do the other side. Just like that. So here you can see my book finished. I added eyelets there and I just threaded the ribbon through and then up through the eyelet to tie it closed. I added all my embellishments. And that before. means that I stuck everything down before I punched the holes. I know in the video I showed you doing them without anything on them, but you want to make sure you add everything. Keep your buttons out of the spine and ribbons so that it'll go down into the bind at all for punching. And there's some extra pockets. And then these ones in the back are for receipt. And you can see that ribbon comes back out through the back of the book and up and through and you can see the ribbon there. That's my Christmas planner. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun making one for yourself.